Hi everybody, Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors. And this week's contract tip, continuing on with the 2017 GAR contracts, has to do with the new amendment to sales price amendment. Now it's not new, but there are a couple of changes. So on the GAR forms, this is GAR F108, amendment to sales price. Now the first thing you'll notice is it has a change in the title. It used to be called amendment to reduce sales price and now it's just called the amendment to sales price. Now you'll see a few very ch uh, important changes that definitely will affect your interaction and in using this form in your transactions. It does still reference the appraisal. So you, you put in the buyer's name, the seller's name, the property address, binding agreement date, and then it says, whereas the amendment provides that the buyer may seek a change in the sales price of the property if the opinion of the value in the sales uh, in the value of the appraisal is less than the sales price. So in the pre-printed verbiage, it still does reference an appraisal. And then you read on and it has three numbered sentences. Number one says, a copy of the appraisal is or is not attached here too to this amendment and incorporated by reference. So the buyer and the seller now have the option of not attaching the appraisal. In the previous version of this amendment, you had to have a copy of the appraisal if the buyer was requesting a reduction and amendment to reduce the sales price of the seller. So now it's saying is or is not attached. Um, we did talk to a couple of appraisers and I believe this change is because we, the, we weren't necessarily getting copies of the appraisals prior to the end of the appraisal contingency period, but we knew the value wasn't there. The appraisers have informed us that they are legally only allowed to give a copy of the appraisal to the actual client. So sometimes we'll get, you as an agent will get uh, information that the value has come in lower than the sales price, but you do not have a copy of the appraisal in hands. You can't get it from the buyer or the buyer hasn't received it yet. So I believe that's uh, the, the um, rationale for the GAR Forms Committee to add that checkbox if the appraisal is or is not attached. Um, the second uh, pair, uh, sentence that's number two says the sales price of the property shall be X amount of dollars and you fill in the blank for the dollar price and that's all it says. Now what it used to say is it used to say the, pro the sale price of the property shall be and you fill in the blank for the dollar amount and then it used to reference the appraisal. It used to say not lower than the appraised value. So they have taken that sentence out so that the buyer and the seller can negotiate a new sale price regardless of the, uh, it, it can be lower than the appraisal price. For example, for example, if we, the buyer and the seller get information that the appraisal price came in low and there were, were repair issues or other items to be addressed between the buyer and the seller, with this new information, the buyer and the seller may choose to negotiate the sale price even above and beyond what the appraisal value came in. And so in this amendment, they did take out the reference to the appraisal price in the new sale price of the property for the transaction that the buyer and the seller are able to negotiate. And then the third item is really interesting. It says the amendment shall remain open for acceptance until and through, and there's two check boxes. The check box, the first one is, the time period set forth in the appraisal contingency in the agreement or blank o'clock p.m. or a.m. on the date of such and such. So this amendment is open for acceptance. Either you stick with the initial appraisal time frame that was initially negotiated in one of the financing contingencies in the initial um, binding agreement or as amended there since then or the buyer and the seller can choose to set a new time frame within which to, or, or open for acceptance for this amendment to the sale price. So again, just a few changes to take a look at on this amendment, amendment, GAR amendment, Georgia Association of Realtors Amendment F-108. Take a look at it and hope this video helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors. Satisfying your needs with service, innovation, and education.